White whiskey, a hamburger in outer space, and a pie-making demo with a very special guest, some lady I call mom. She's my mom. This is the food feeder. Comment of the week goes to Shade6787, one of my top 7,000 shades. And they tell me that I look like the guy from The Walking Dead. I've never seen that show, but I'm gonna hope that he's not one of the zombies. Let's kick off today's show the way I'd like to start my mornings, with whiskey. Jack Daniels is making a colorless, unaged, white dog rye whiskey, which they have not made since Prohibition. See, ever since then, bourbon has been a lot more popular than rye whiskey. So maybe they're hoping that this new colorless version will do a lot better. Or heck, maybe they're just gonna try to convince girls in bars that it's vodka and just throw some cranberry juice in there. All of you food feeders out there in Tennessee will be able to pick up the new white dog rye whiskey next month. While the rest of us will have to wait until early 2013. I'm not really sure how I feel about these odorless, colorless rye whiskeys because frankly, I don't know that much about them. But uh, I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, there, there's alcohol in it. Yeah, no, I'll definitely try it. Speaking of me drinking alcohol, I just stumbled upon these awesome, essentially shatterproof wine glasses. They're made by this company called Corin, and they really do work. Seriously, look how amazed Tom Caligio is. <laughs> these ion strong wine glasses are still actual crystal. They just go through some chemical process that's way above my mental capacity to understand, and it makes the glass stronger. These glasses are actually lead free, and I had no idea that lead was a problem in glasses, but I'm glad they don't have it. They also don't have anything like salami or diabetes. The price tag may seem a little steep at 150 bucks or more for a set of six. But for somebody like me who tends to break things a lot, it ends up being totally worth it in the end. We talked about white whiskey, and now we'll talk about another white beverage that totally confuses me, white Pepsi. Nari Nari is reporting that Japan's Pepsi distributor is making a new tangerine flavored Pepsi called Pepsi White. They've actually made a lot of limited edition Pepsis in Japan, including Pepsi Ice Cucumber, Pepsi Salty Watermelon, and Pepsi vs. Frankenstein vs. Godzilla. One of those might be fake. It's the last one. This new Pepsi White actually reminds me a lot of Crystal Pepsi from back in the 90s. There's actually a Facebook page now devoted to putting it back on the market. The page already has over 1,300 likes, which just proves that some people will like anything. <laughs> The whole food truck trend probably already passed its true peak. But with the recent events of Hurricane Sandy, it's been a great opportunity for food trucks to show their real value. The Northeast was ravaged by the hurricane, leaving many people without food, water, or power for days. But food trucks were rolling into places like Hoboken, Union Square, and Astor Place to give out free food, free water, and even set up cell phone charging stations. Things like mac and cheese, chicken, coffee, and fried rice were given out to people who may not have had other access to food. In something of a funny twist, cities like Hoboken had actually passed legislation making it almost impossible for food trucks to exist in the city. But I think it's awesome that food trucks turned out to be such a great tool for disaster relief. There's still time to donate to Red Cross if you haven't done so already, so click the link in the description box. And if you like instant gratification as much as I do, you can donate $10 by texting this number right here. Starring on What's Going to Kill You This Week, Cantaloupe with special guest, Mango. You probably heard about the Listeria outbreak that was linked to cantaloupe. It killed 33 people, making it the deadliest food outbreak in the last 100 years. That led to increasing measures to keep the fruit free of pathogens, but there was still another incident this year. North Carolina's Birch Farms found more cantaloupe tainted with Listeria. Luckily, they issued a recall pulling 200,000 cantaloupes off the shelves before anybody got sick. But then, Chamberlain Farms in Indiana was linked to a two-strain salmonella outbreak. It killed three people and sent nearly a hundred to the hospital. This isn't a case of cantaloupe suddenly getting a bad rap over the last couple of years. It's actually been linked to several outbreaks and recalls since 1990. This has all led to a new study trying to find if pasteurizing our cantaloupe, kind of like how we pasteurize our eggs, would fix the problem. On top of the lethal melon, mango might not be so safe either. Food Safety News reports that after last summer's salmonella outbreak, the FDA is now declaring mangoes a high-risk fruit. They just didn't bother sharing this information with the American consumers. Does anyone else think that Lethal Melon sounds like an awesome action movie starring John Cougar Mellencamp? Or is that just me? I think it's just me. Well, our next story gives me a great idea of what we can do with all this contaminated food. 
just shoot it into outer space and make all the aliens sick. Uh-oh. Some Harvard students, who are clearly very smart and have way too much time on their hands, decided to launch a hamburger into outer space. After covering the burger in varnish to keep it from disintegrating, they attached it to a weather balloon and then launched it into the air from Stewbridge, Massachusetts. They recorded the whole thing with a GoPro camera, and the burger reached an altitude of 30,000 meters before landing about 130 miles or so north of Boston. 30,000 meters is really far when you realize that it's straight up. And now, as I promised at the top of the show, it's time to make Thanksgiving pie with my mom. She makes the best pie. I promise. All right, guys, well, we're here today with uh, someone whose name is Nancy, but I always just call her mom. This already smells awesome, by the way. And it really just smells a lot like my mom's apple pie, which is convenient because that's what we're making. That looks great. Good. That's, that's good? good. Yeah. Filling's done? Okay, now, so the next step is you want to take two tablespoons of butter, sprinkle it around there, yeah. Nice thing you can do, too, is you can just put it on the rolling pin. A few little... Air vents. Air vents here for the steam. You got your oven set 375. You want to put it in there in the bottom rack. Time it for about an hour. Check for those bubbles when it's bubbling. Well, Ma, we did it. We made pie. It's very easy. It just takes a little practice and uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, guys, that's it for this week. So I'm going to ask you to do that thing I always ask you to do, which is subscribe to Taste It. You're going to find brand new episodes of shows like Taste Explosions, and this one, the food feeder. You also gotta push that little button down there that says like, it means you like it. Although you can even push it if you don't like it and I won't know the difference. So do that. Thanksgiving is on the way, so I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. You can drink, but just don't drink so heavily that you start punching and stabbing family members. It's not recommended. That's it for this week. I'll catch you next Friday right here on the food feeder. Next time you're at a Mexican restaurant, order the Escamoles. In English, that's ant larva. Learn more on why would you eat that. Want to up the ante on classic fried chicken and mashed potatoes? Just add cheese curds. Smash an episode of Taste Explosions together with Epic Mealtime, and what do you get? An explosion of epic proportions. Join Top Chef Kevin Gillespie in sampling the wildest bacon-wrapped hot dogs with toppings like cream cheese, scallions, and everything bagel seeds. Beer made from bull balls and grown men's beards? Get a taste of our version of food news on Food Feeder. Watch Exotic Jess take on a live octopus in the appropriately named Why Would You Eat That Live Octopus Challenge. Subscribe for free for more tasted treats.